So I made this third-person shooter game using the first-person template that comes with Unreal Engine 5.6 and I'm going to show you how to do that. It's actually quite easy. Here's how to create a project using that template. First, we need to launch the 5.6 editor and the easiest way to do that is to use the Epic Games Launcher. When the editor is open, you can create a new project. And the key thing is to select Arena Shooter as a variant. Now the project is created, but uh, if you hit play right away, you will notice it's not running the template because we're in the wrong map. And we have to manually switch to the map that comes with the template. Now, if you hit play again, you will see we're now running the correct template game. And if you don't want to, uh, if you don't want to do this every time you open the project, you can set the default map in the project settings. Now, if we close and reopen the editor, we'll still load into the template map, so we can move on to making changes to our project. We can find the blueprint we need to modify in the world settings. If you don't have this tab available, you can open it from the menu like this. So this is the player pawn the template uses. Click the folder icon and it will direct you to the content browser. And now we can double click to open it. Right click to open the context menu and uh, add an event called begin play. We're going to create a new TPS camera and switch to it when the game starts. After adding the new camera, drag it into the new blueprint and add a new node to activate it. Then drag the existing FPS camera into the blueprint and add a node to deactivate it. If we run the game now, we're using the new camera, but uh, it's hard to see because we haven't set it up properly yet. For a proper third-person camera, we also need a camera boom, so you can orbit around the character. When adding the boom, make sure the hierarchy is correct as shown on screen. Also, check the Use Palm Control Rotation box. Now, if we launch the game again, we have a proper TPS camera, but the character looks strange because it's still using the first-person model. Drag the first-person mesh into the blueprint and set it to Invisible. And uh, check the game, now it's gone. Next, we need to show the third person model, which is already there. So we don't need to add a new one, we just need to adjust settings to make it show up in the game. For some reason, I made the change in the parent class. I don't think it's necessary. You can just copy the change I made in the parent class and do it directly in the blueprint that we have been working on. Or just follow what's showing on the screen and do exactly what I did. Either way will work. And I'm sorry if that feels a little bit confusing.
After applying the changes, you should now see the third-person character model in-game. But the third-person weapon is still missing. So we'll do the same thing we did for the character. And uh, this time we'll make the change in the parent class, so it applies to all weapon types. Now the weapon appears, but there is another issue. We're still aiming from the first-person camera. You can right-click the first-person camera component and search for it in the blueprint. Once you find where the magic happens, drag in the third-person camera and use that instead. Here I added a uh, camera offset to make the player character out of the way. So it's easier to see what's going on. Now it's very obvious that the aiming is off. Let's try again using the third-person camera. Okay, now we're hitting where the crosshair is. And uh, I also fixed some other things like hiding the first-person camera and the weapon model. Now, the bullets are still firing from the first-person weapon, not the third-person one. And uh, at this point, I guess you already know how to fix this. Right-click the first-person model component, search for it. And uh, drag in the third-person model, and reroute the nose to use it instead. We're almost done. There is just one last problem. The upper body should face forward regardless of movement direction. This is weapon specific, so I use the rifle as an example. First, open the rifle's blueprint and locate its animation blueprint. And when you click this folder icon, it will direct you to the AVP it's using, which should be this one showing on the screen. What I did here is I duplicated the original AVP, modified it, and set the weapon to use the new one. Inside, the new ABP, go to the animation graph. By default, the upper body inherits the lower body's rotation, but we uncheck this box to stop that behavior. Now the upper body stays forward, exactly what we need. And uh, that's pretty much it. Here's some bonus tips. As you can see, the aiming offset doesn't work very well here because it's made for first person. Your character is not looking at the crosshair. There is an offset. A quick fix is to add a multiplier here. 
to make it look better. It's not perfect, but it can be useful. And you can play with the number to make it, uh, to make it look better. To change the mouse sensitivity, you need to modify the parent class of the player character blueprint because that's where the mouse input is handled. I kept this part in just to show you how I found the right blueprint. Maybe you'll find that process useful. And uh, once you locate the input logic, you can use a multiplier to adjust the sensitivity. Here I used Ctrl C and Ctrl V to duplicate the node. And because I don't want to change two values every time, so I created a new node and fit it into these two nodes. So I only need to change this one. Now the mouse is less sensitive. And again, you can play with the number trying to find the sweet spot for you. And uh, that's it. We made a third person shooter using the first person template and uh, it's really easy to do. And I really think with all the templates that come with 5.6, um, now it is a really good time to start learning Unreal Engine. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.